Selma and welcome to my book journey. So I can't believe it, but we are here. It is December. I have my tree up. <laughs> I still have a, quite a few things to put up and everything, but I wanted to get my December TBR video out and I have my stack of books here and you know me every month. I always have so many books that I want to read or try to read or get around to, but it's kind of like my pile of possibilities. So I have all my books except for, I think all, actually, I think all of them are Christmas books. And last year, last December, I, I think I only read Christmas books too, Christmas reads, and I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I didn't know if I was going to do that again, but um, I couldn't help myself. I, I thought I wasn't going to, but I decided, yeah, let's just go ahead and do some Christmas reads. It's going to be fun have a fun time in the month of December. And so let me think, what if I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Let's see, I do wanna say that I, even though I have like a TBR, just dropped something. Even though I have a, like a TV, TBR, I have way too many books. I'm not, I'll, I'm gonna sh show all the books, but I'm definitely not gonna be able to read them all. And I haven't decided what because i have two readathons that i'm going to try to participate in and i don't know what books yet that i'm going to be using for each prompt because a lot of them can be used for a lot of the different prompts so but first i wanted to go over my my five ch reading challenges that i've been doing for the year and so i'll start with chantal reads all day reads all day her um read from your book read your bookshelf challenge and um, so I, for the most part, I have stayed on the Doyle track this whole time. And that's where I'm going to end up. And so she gave us this for the month of December for Montgomery and the Doyle, Doyle side. She gave us two prompts to choose one or the other. And so I chose the Doyle prompt um, standalone book. And so that could be any of, <laughs> that really could be any of these books that I'm going to talk about today. So at the end of the month, I will choose which one that I'm going to do for that. Okay, the second uh, reading challenge that I've been doing this year is Paperbacks and Ponytails. Uh, Katie, her reading Read Around the World Challenge. And for this, her final prompt is read a book that has a map in it. And I thought, oh my goodness, with all these Christmas reads, I don't have any like usually fantasies. Those kind of books have um, maps in them. And I thought, I'm not going to have a book that has a map. So I just started going through the book, the Christmas books I had. And lo and behold, I found one that has a map. And it has like a, like a, um, a town, the town of, uh, I guess, Ivy Hill. And that book is um, An Ivy Hill Christmas by Julie Klassen. And this one I shared recently because I picked this up at a library sale. And I was super, super jazzed about it. And so this is going to count for that. And this is probably going to count for other prompts along the way too. But I have been wanting to read a Julie Klassen book. So this is going to be my first, first one. Okay. So that is Katie's prompt. Then we have um, Jeanette Jane reads her Christmas, her Christmas um, fiction uh, reading challenge. And her December is prompt is most read genre. And I believe that's either Rome for me. I have to look it up, but I think it's either, I'm pretty sure it's probably historical fiction or romance. And I'm going to have a romance and that Ivy Hill would count too, because it's a historical. So that's going to be an easy one to fill this month. And then Oshina, her prompt for December or not for December, but just, um, her prompt she has a christmas read a christmas book in one of her prompts and i've got plenty of christmas romance so i'm going to be able to do that one knock that one out and then angie book mama her prompt for december is read a book that's recommended in the group and so she had a discord group for the year for people that were doing her her challenge her reading challenge for the year so i went through back a lot of the each month she had a had a a part in there, a place in there where you can put your recommendations. So I went in through every, through the months and looked at what other books that people recommended throughout the year. And some, and there was, uh, somebody recommended this book, um, 
Between Shades of Grey by Rudy Cepedes. And this is one I've been wanting to read for a long time and I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So I thought, you know what, this I need to do that. And it's a, it looks like almost like a winter read as well. And so in the beginning, it's funny because if I do end up reading this in December, which would be cool because I read the first, not the, the companion book that goes with this in January of this year. Pretty sure I read it in January. And that was um, Salt to the Sea, and I loved it. So it'd be kind of neat to book in the year with these two books. So that kind of worked out, if, and hopefully I will. Hopefully I'll do that one. And so this is gonna count for Angie's book challenge. Okay, or reading challenge. All right, so there's all the ch reading challenges that I have for December. Okay, so the first readathon in December that I wanted to participate, of course, was uh, the Lucy Chronicles, her uh, Tinsel and Tales readathon. And she has a ton of people that are helping out with this readathon. And so that's really neat to see everybody pitching and helping and sharing their recommendations and things like that. So that is cool. And also I love that she gave us the the prompts and she said you know you can mix and match you don't you can do if you find a book that has all of them there you go and so I love that so that you know because we are busy in the month of December and it'll be nice to read to mood read really even though for me I'm gonna mood read even though I'm doing all Christmas reads but I don't have to be a stickler you know and try to get every single every single prompt with a different book you know, if it gets busy and I don't get to read maybe two or three of these books, at least I can get a lot of those prompts in by overlap. Overlapping them is what I mean. Okay, so she has a, uh, her one of her prompts is Christmas on the cover. And I have a ton of books that have Christmas on the cover. I showed one already that's called an Ivy, the Ivy Hill Christmas. I have, a ton of them that have Christmas. So that one will be an easy one to do. And then I have, and then she has the t the um, prompt of a book on my TBR since last Christmas. And I have one here, but I want to share that coming up because there's more to it than that. But I'll share that one. And then she has read a holiday romance, which I have a ton of books in here that have romance, romance, romances in them and then she has a square for during the month of december read the nativity story which i plan on doing with with the family as well so that i love that prompt and then she gave us this free space and then a festive cover i thought i would do this book here let's see where did it go here it is so this is really a really cool i don't know if i've shared this on my channel yet so on Goodreads, you know, on Goodreads, they have like giveaways. You can uh, sign up for a book that you're interested in and, and you know, some, you never know, you might win. Well, guess what? I won. And then I, that was the coolest thing because it was a Christmas book or it is a Christmas book and it's by uh, Fern Michaels. I've never read uh, this author's, one of her books and it's Santa's Secret and it's super festive. And I think that's pretty Pretty cool. And so this one, let's see, what is this about? It is, it says, Christmas is filled with beloved and long kept traditions, but sometimes there's nothing better than creating brand new ones. That's why Francesca and her high school friends, Amy, Rachel, and Nina are traveling to Italy, Italy to spend the holidays with Frankie's boyfriend, Giovanni and his family. So we're gonna be overseas, I guess, for Christmas. And so she, I think she, I think this author writes a lot of Christmas novels if I'm not mistaken and romance and that kind of thing so here's probably a Christmas a romance that would count for that too so there's that that one and then she has a uh, read a book that has a uh, that's been made into a movie and then watch the movie and so I think I'm gonna do well I'll come back to that one because I'm gonna talk about that one too Okay, and then she has one that's called a prompt that says snow on the cover. And so I'm going to read this one. And this one's such a beautiful cover. It's by Patty Callahan. It's Once Upon a Wardrobe. And it has beautiful snow falling. And this one is going to be a fun read because this is going to be a buddy read that I'm going to do with uh, Whitney's reading journey. And she 
uh, reached out to me and we talked about, hey, let's read this book together for the month of December. And so this is going to be a month. I think I only have one buddy read this month. And so this is going to be a fun buddy read to do. And this one has to do with um, the, uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And I'm in the process right now of reading, finishing up that book, uh, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. So it'll be fun to read this one right afterwards. Okay. And then the last one in in Lucy's Readathon is Read a, a Christmas Mystery. And I found this at the library sale too. This one is Carol of the Ship's Bells. It's a Mysteries of Martha's Vineyard. So it's a Christmas mystery from Guidepost. And so this is a possibility to read for that. All right, so that is, those are all the prompts for the Tinsel and Tales. And now the other uh, readathon that I wanted to try to participate in in the month of December is The Very Vintage Christmas, and that is by uh, Mitzi Reads and Writes. And so this one she had wanted to talk, do based on like old vintage books and Christmas books and things. So um, her first prompt is An Old Fashioned Christmas. And so this one is, uh, this one goes back up to the book that I had on my TBR since last since last Christmas. And this one's called An Evergreen Christmas Treasured Classic, Classics for the Yuletide Season. And this is a very special book because last November, I won this book on Shatona Habig's uh, book, booktube. She did a, a giveaway for this and I just saw today that she's gonna do another giveaway this year as well and I'll link that video below if I remember hopefully I'll remember so that if you're interested in and in, in entering that giveaway because she has I think she's gonna give away this book I, I, I'm pretty sure cause she calls it the evergreen Christmas giveaway so she might be giving this away plus some other things that I saw but anyway so this book is cool because um, Mitzi, when she was talking about her prompts, she had based them about about different books and old Christmas stories and things. And this book has all those all these stories, pretty much like they're all old. Um, like it came up, it, so it's like a bunch of short stories. And this first one is um, has it came upon a midnight clear. Tilly's Christmas, let's see what's another one she mentioned. A Visit from St. Nicholas, she talks about that one. Clorinda's Gifts by L. M. Montgomery is in here. Um, a Story from Louisa May Alcott. Christmas Bells by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Oh, there's another one by Montgomery. And then The, Ma the Magi by Yates. And so, this one is gonna be a sweet find and it goes perfectly with Mitzi's uh, readathon. So if I, even if I just read this book, I think it would qualify for all her, her prompts. So I was really excited and I, I thank you so much for Shatona for giving, um, sending me this book in that giveaway. So I was really excited to read that one. Okay, so then she has a, her, type, her next prompt is A Christmas Carol and that one is to read a book that has music in it. And so one of the one of the recommendations I saw for a Christmas book that has music in it was written by the author Amanda Dykes. And I just finished reading a book from Amanda Dykes, which I absolutely loved. So I thought, oh, I would love to read a Christmas story by her. And then when I looked it up, it was really short, like like a novella. And so I'm gonna I don't I'm gonna read that on um, on Libby or Hulu. I can't remember where I found it. But, and that one's called, and I'll put a picture up here, it's called Bespoke. Uh, Be I think it's called Bespoke. And it has to do with a, uh, a story about a musician, but it's set in, in Christmas time. So I'll be reading that for that prompt. And then she has one that's called The Prompt is Christmas Wedding. And that's, she said, just to read a book that is a romance. So I have that down. And then Gift Giving, Gift, uh, have something that has a gift on it and so I'll have to as I'm looking through these books I'll figure out which one will go fit with that and then she has a prompt that's called Jolly Old Saint Nick 
and that is read a book that has Santa, talks about Santa on the cover. And I think, you know, Santa's Secret will count for that one. And then she has one called Letter to Santa. So this one is read a book that has letters in it. And that one, I'm going to read Letters from Father Christmas. And so that's going to count for that one. And then a Rudolph, she has a prompt called Rudolph, and that is read a, a, a book that is an adapt, adaptation. So that's the same as, as Tinsel and Tales. They're the same prompts. So I'm gonna read the same book for that. And so for Mitzi's reading rights for the Vintage Christmas, her, her readathon has a group read, and they are gonna read Miracle of 34th Street. So I'm gonna read that one, I'll put that up here. And that, and then I'll watch the movie, and that'll count as my adaptation for both of those uh, readathons. So, and I've, I've seen the movie a long time ago. And so I think I wanna watch the old um, one with uh, Natalie Wood as the little girl. I think that's my favorite adaptation. And so that one is that one. And then the last one is, I haven't been able to find a book to, to do this one. So I might not do this unless you have a recommendation for me. It's called, um, her last prompt is The Nutcracker, and that is read a, a fairy tale, a Christmas fairy tale. So I don't know. <laughs> so those are all the prompts and everything. So now I'm just gonna go through and show you the books that I have on my on my cart here that I haven't already to show you what I have. I have, like I said, I have so many, <laughs> so many to choose from. And so a lot of these are library books that I went to the library and I just grabbed some, and then some, the last ones, I, while I was getting my Christmas things out uh, to put up my tree in the box that I had all my Christmas ornaments, I had a bunch of Christmas books that I had picked up last <laughs> December. And so I added those to this cart. So, and I for, totally forgot I even had those. Okay, so here is uh, one that uh, Amanda, uh, book lover Amanda, just recommended on her video. This one's called A Christmas Joy Ride by Melody Car Carlson. So, these Christmas books have the cutest covers. And then this one is one I just recently picked up, Chris, The Christmas Letters. So here's another one. And I looked, I saw that it had letters and I thought, oh, does it have letters in the book? But I didn't see any, anything like letters. They just, maybe they talk about letters, but there's not any letters in here. So, but here's another one that has the Christmas title. Then this one, I picked up last year. This one's called Christmas Stories for the Heart. And these are different, I think, let me see how many Christmas, how many stories. There's several short stories in here. And this, these are all by Christian authors. Um, or actually, I wonder, if, oh no, these are like devotionals. Reflections by, Matt Luc by Max Lucado, Chuck Swindoll, Ruth Graham, James and Shirley Dobson, uh, Joni Erickson Tata and more. Okay, so these are more like maybe devotionals or little Christian stories that they wrote. So there's that. There is, there's another Christmas in the title, The Christmas Escape, and also Snow on the cover. There is this one, beautiful book, Shepherds Abiding. Bay Jane Caron, Caron, or Jan Caron. Okay, we have a, some more snow on the cover. A Wreath of Snow by Liz Curtis Higgins. Her look, Curtis Higgs. This was a Oshina recommendation. And then a quilt for Christmas. That's a pretty one too. So a lot of them that have Christmas in the title. So I won't have any issue, problem with that. All right, so I'm gonna turn my card around, flip it around. And then this, these I definitely wanna do. This is that trilogy I had mentioned in my last video. These are by Kathleen Morgan. There's the Christmas kind, the, the Chris Kindles gift. Um, let's see, One Perfect Gift and all good gifts, so a lot of gifts. So I think that would count maybe for that gift prompt. Another quilt, Christmas quilt by Jennifer Chivarini. 
and then we have this is a love it love love inspired suspense the christmas target so this might be a mystery this is suspense i don't know if it's, if it's mystery and suspense but there's that one okay and now these right here <laughs> yeah i've got a lot so these are the ones i found in my christmas box of ornaments and so this one is a cute little book i picked up called 14 favorite christmas stories they're real short so there's that one this one is a book I picked up at my library store last year, or library sales last year, The Christmas Note by Donna Van Leer. I picked up two books by her, that one and then this one, The Christmas Promise. And I didn't get around, I don't think I got around to reading these last year, so I'd really like to read those. This one is one I've had forever. This one's called Cosmic Christmas by Max Lucado. This is one I've been wanting. I've I've read it, but I could, you know, like to reread it. It's another short little story that we could read together uh, with Laura or Ellie. Um, this one is a, a set of novellas, I believe. It's called An Old Fashioned Christmas. And I actually know one of the authors. The first one, Sally Laity. I went to church with, I, she went to my church back in California and, uh, she, I remember that she wrote historical books. And so when I saw her name on this book, I grabbed, picked it up. And it has also Tracy Peterson is one of the authors. So there's that one. Um, so there is, let's see, one, there's four, four different little novellas in this one. And then the last one is The Glory of Christmas. This is another inspirational writings from Charles Swindoll, Max Lucado, and Charles, Charles Colson. Okay, so those are all the, all the books on my huge, on my huge cart. Actually, I left one off. I think I was gonna put this in for Chantel's, now that I think about it. This one isn't a Christmas book. This one I did just pick up when I was at the library. It's called The Winter Guest by Pam Jenoff. But listen, I, I, it's a wintry book. And I, when I read what it was about, I was like, I need to pick it up. So I'll read it. It says, 18-year-old twins, Helena and Ruth, are raising their three younger siblings in Nazi-occupied Poland, where the perpetual threat of arrest has, been, has made everyone in their village a spy and turned neighbor against neighbor. Though the young women couldn't be more different, they are, they are staunch allies in protecting their family from the threats the war brings closer to their doorstep with each passing day. Then Helena discovers an American paratrooper stranded outside their small mountain village, wounded but alive. Risking the safety of herself and her family, she hides him, a Jew, and together they make plans for the family to flee. But Helena is forced to contend with the jealousy her choices have sparked in Ruth, culminating in a singular act of betrayal that endangers them all and setting in motion a chain of events that will reverberate across continents and decades. So I thought, oh, that sounds really good. So especially since I'm reading all of these Christmas reads, I would like to read at least one um, book that's not a Christmas read. So this could be it. This could be that book. Okay, so that is everything. It's in, as you, yeah, well, no, I always forget this one. So since it is December, the last month of the year, which I cannot believe, I am going to pick one more for my jar. And uh, let's see what I pick. None of these that are in here is a Christmas book, is a Christmas read. So um, I'll have at least two books that are not uh, Christmas reads. So let's see what I pick. And for next year, I'm going to do something different. I am going to do a jar next year, but it's going to have different books in it. And I'm still trying to figure out what kind of books. I'm down to a couple, a couple ideas that I'm throwing around. But you'll see that in an upcoming video. Okay, let's see what I got. I don't know how many times this book has been. Uh, I think I've pulled this twice. I've pulled this book twice, didn't read it. And I put it on a TBR and didn't read it. So I think I'm supposed to read it. And it's the book called Unspoken. 
and I'll put it up here because I don't want to go and it's in my but it is the book if I'm not mistaken it's the book about um oh my goodness I, I'm pretty sure it's the book about the uh the 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 gorilla it's Christian fiction um but yeah so this is and hopefully <laughs> hopefully I'm right if not it'll be right here that's the book but anyway but I know I've drawn it at least twice and then I had it on a, on my TBR because it fit a prompt and I didn't get around to doing it. So I should read it. I should actually read it. I was going to dump it back in here. I don't, I shouldn't do that. But anyway, um, I should, um, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll try to remember on my, in my, um, wrap up for, uh, December, to go over all the books that I picked out of the jar and which ones I actually read. Cause there was, there was a month, there were some months where I drew it out of the jar and I didn't, didn't get around to reading it. I think I did that maybe a couple times. And my husband's like, well, you needed to put some like, some rules on your, on your jar. Cause there were times when I, this year that I actually said, no, I'm not reading that. And then just drew something else. So he, he was thinking I need to be, make some rules for my my uh, jar um next year which i should i'll think of some or he'll help me think of some so anyway so that unspoken is going to be the other book for my tbr for december so uh, let me know in the comments below i feel like I'm, i've rushed this but let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these christmas books if you have any christmas um fantasy or not fantasy what was it was it fantasy no fairy tale fairy tale i guess i may i don't i don't remember if she said it had to be a christmas fairy tale maybe just a fairy tale book um i don't read a lot of fairy fairy tale books or retellings i don't i i've read some this christmas for like crumbs and things but i don't normally gravitate toward, toward those but um, but that's okay if I don't get that one prop, that'd be fine. But anyway, cause I have plenty of, of books to, to read beside a fairy, besides a fairy tale. Anyway, so, um, let me know if you have any, if you are also participating in either one of these readathons, uh, uh, Tinsel and Tales and the Vintage Christmas readathon. And I think, I think that's it. I'm excited about Christmas, um, the season of Christmas, one of my favorite seasons of the year. Just, um, just a fun time with family and getting ready for Christmas, and it's just going to come so fast. I um, mean, you can't believe Thanksgiving's already over, and we're just. Um, and I'm going to have, I'm going to try to do some more videos. I'm not going to do like um, a lot of people do, uh, a, a video every day. <laughs> I'm not that. Uh, that'd be kind of challenging for me. But I am going to add some more videos to the month uh, of December, and I have a. I want to uh, talk about some even things like we're, that we're, that I'm doing that are not necessarily book reading, maybe like more homeschool, and things like that. Maybe in, in the process of thinking about what I want to do for this month, but mostly I want to just have a fun time of reading these these books and then I really want to especially the Christmas ones try to maybe the ones that I read try to unhaul those too to make room for for next year's books that are coming all right so that is it that is all thank you so much for joining me today